this is why I go live a, a minute or so after 12 because I get all these notifications come up on my phone and as I flip them away I flip myself into other places where I don't want to be so hello and welcome happy to have you here hello Bev who's already said hi in the comments I appreciate that please make sure you're saying hi giving me a thumbs up making sure sure you're subscribed so then you get notifications of when I go live or when I upload a video because I've uploaded a very short video this week a 90 second video a uh, look back at my cards in July no June hello Miss Cheryl um, my cards in June that I have shared on my social media so you may have missed a card or two somewhere along the way and I have a collation of those cards hey Miss Marjean so for those of you I have not met before my name is Ellen Woodbridge and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia and today is you retracted your message, Miss Cheryl. Hello, Shari. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Jody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is a huge day in the Stampin' Up! world. I think we have had three, three things happen at midnight. Last night, hello, Miss Lisa. I'm live just for you, Lisa. Lisa is recuperating at home and she was very sad that I had another engagement on Tuesday but I promised her I'd be here on Thursday for her to amuse her while she recuperates. Hello Miss Donna. Um, so big day in the Stampin' Up! world. We have online exclusives that have been released. I ordered what I wanted from or what I hadn't already pre-ordered from the online exclusive. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so I've already got the One Horse Open Sleigh paper, which I have shared with you guys. That also goes with the stamp set. I ordered, it's like a fractured stained glass stamp set. So you've got Santa, you've got a bird, you've got an angel, and some of them are in circles, and then you've got some sentiments. So I thought that was a very interesting set that I could do a lot with. So I ordered that. Um, and we also have a Hanukkah set on there. Um, what else? I should have had these up for you guys. Now, we've also had a clearance rack refresh. Now, if you like a bargain and you want to grab some Red High product, these things go really fast, especially the designer series papers. So when you look at the clearance rack, it looks as though it hasn't refreshed. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Candy. Hello, Miss Cindy. Long time no see. Um, it looks like the clearance rack hasn't refreshed. That's what I thought last night. But if you scroll down, there are new products in the clearance rack. It's for some reason, it's just not showing um newest although it does say sort by newest maybe if i change it eh. i'm sorting it by newest and it's still showing items that were there last clearance rack or were previously on the clearance rack so we have the online exclusive we have the clearance rack um and the online exclusives, some will stay, some will go. They are only available to have a look at on my online store. And this basically means that um, Stampin' Up! have more um, stock control when they put things exclusively online. So if it sells out really quick, they rather than um, they can just take it off and then pop it back on. Um, and yeah they're just trying something new i like having the online exclusives um something a little bit different gets me looking at the online store i often you can miss things in a catalog where if you're looking on the on the online store you see things a little bit differently okay so clearance rack online exclusive brand new card kit 
So there are four things that have happened and we're on number three. So it is called, uh, I've got my computer here. It is called um, Blossom, Blossom, Blossom. It is called Blossom Wish Wishes Kit. I was going to say Witches. Blossom Witches Kit doesn't work. Blossom Wishes Kit kit and it is a card kit um, making slimline cards so you get two designs four of each one is a happy birthday and one is the sentiment is you matter now this is a non-stamping card kit it's just a assemble kit um Oh, yay, 17 watching. That's, I've got 19 watching on my numbers, but yes, if you guys could give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. Hey, Miss Bonnie. Um, so these types of card kits are great to take away when you don't want to be stamping and getting messy, but you want to be crafty and creative. You can just stick and plonk these cards, feel creative, have eight cards to go at the end. Um, what do they say about it? Just quickly ring, reading it. And they have extra printed sentiments in Dutch, French and German besides English. So if you have any of those friends, you can make them a special card and send it to them. Or in my case, I have um, a friend, hey Lisa, um, I have a friend who is a language teacher. Hello, Donna and Dawn. Um, and I give her all the other languages and she actually uses them. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, she uses them in her teaching. Um, or she'll make cards for friends uh, with those because she is crafty. Now, three things. So clearance rack, online exclusive, new kit, and we have bonus days. So oh, I'm feeling a bit Austin Powers here. Um, <laughs> bonus days. So we haven't had bonus days for a few years and it's back. It's basically earning coupons so for in australia for every 90 dollars you spend in july i keep on thinking it's june for every 90 dollars you spend in july you get a nine dollar coupon to spend in august so who doesn't love coupons awesome so really exciting about spend now get free stuff next month which is great um so there are our four things bonus days and a uh, spend now and for august we have our blossom wishes kit we have our online exclusives and we have the clearance rack that was a lot to put in my brain last night and I successfully did it all. So I give myself a pat on the back. I give you props for sticking here with me while I explained all the four things that dropped today. So if you need any help with any of these things that are happening, please don't hesitate to reach out. That is what I'm here for. Um, on my online store which is linked below um, there's a shop for products used in this project if you click that link that takes you to my online store i do have separate posts about all of these things on my blog which is also in the description box and other than that just reach out to me and i'll be more than willing to help so today i have grabbed out some items to have a first play i have a stamp set that hasn't been inked and it's time it's come out to play so i have grabbed the countryside corners now i have lots of ideas for the countryside corners i just hadn't got my butt into gear to actually um get countryside corners used now it is in a bundle so you buy them separately or together but it is in a bundle with the countryside corners dies okay so these go around each layer now this is one singular stamp set i will explain why it is one singular stamp set as we're using it but there is very good reason why it's a singular stamp set and a great reason why we've got the dice 
Okay, sorry, I thought I heard dog. I'm going to have David come through the door at some stage. He's gone out for a walk and to buy some things. Yeah, oh, I'm glad. And please tell me in the comments, who already owns Countryside Corners? Because I'm hopefully going to show you something a little bit different today. It may have already been done, but I'm doing it my way. But one thing, I bought this Timeless Arrangements dies. Oh, awesome candy. A timeless Arrangement dies. And I bought it for these three dies. Oh, four dies. One, two, three, four. I bought, oh, everyone's got it. Awesome. Well, most, most people do. Um, and I, I just pressed publish on a blog as I went live and I've already used um, these dies which is great oh awesome Cindy um, but I definitely wanted these dies I only bought the dies I did not buy the matching stamp set so sometimes I'll do that I'll see potential in the dies and go I think I can leave the stamp set in lieu of buying something else Yes, more than happy to enable you, Bonnie. More than happy. Ah, I've got the DSP. I have used it. I can't remember what card I used it in, but I do have a cut-up piece of DSP here. So I was thinking of incorporating. Yes, it does, Bev, and that's the one I bought. It's like that fractionalization or stained glass. So I thought that would be fun to play with. Um... I've got the countryside in paper and I didn't know if we wanted to use the countryside in paper or if we wanted to go left to centre and use some other designer series paper. So tell me in the comments because I will get our comments back up now. I'm off the online store and uh, we will see I when I flip around turn off the light do all the things um, I will see whether we are using that paper or not today so let's flip around and tell me whether I'm using the matching designer series paper or other oh I'm glad you love the clearance Bev It's a, oh my dear word, my whole thing just collapsed. Hold on here, guys. I'm going to have to just pop you down for a second. I need to do some emergency repairs on my stand. I think I just tightened it enough. It was just a little fix. Oh my dear word. <laughs> there you go well at least I did it without holding my hand thank you we're trying to do it one handed there we go okay we're back oh I'm sorry I'm sorry Cheryl I didn't mean mean to be so rough but we are pretty much fixed let's just see if we can zoom in I think we're okay not quite just up a little titch okay I'll go check the light then I will check our no I need to move it up a titch more and then we are fine I think I'll be back That looks pretty good to me. Um, okay, what sounds pretty? I use the stamp and die with the new colour cardstock white embossing the stamp. That does sound good. Looks good to you, Bonnie. I'm so glad. Okay, so this is what we're playing with today. So just to show you. This is the designer series paper. So, oh, I remember what we used the paper in. We used the paper with the 
um, dots. Uh, what are they called? I'm just flicking through. No. Um, not that. Not that. No, not decorated rectangles. I haven't got that many dies and I can't find it. Not wanted to say, not something fancy, not beautiful balloons on my dear word. I cannot find the one that I used. I don't know. I can't remember. But we did do it with the um, raised dies. And we cut these two patterns and then piece them together. So they, it's all blue and white. So all the blues. We've got the bunnies. So we do have some motifs in here. But I think, I'm kind of thinking I would like to be a little more colourful today them being monochromatic and we have some foxes here so a side on view and a front on view so they're the papers that come with the or go with the bundle but i just think i want to be a bit more colorful today ah boho blue and bubble bath perfect combination I could do that because would you believe I actually haven't used bubble bath all that much and there is bubble bath in quite a few of our papers so a bright and beautiful has bubble bath that's our six by six delightfully eclectic there was it's just such a versatile set of paper because it's so huge I'm trying to work out so that is a possibility um earth and elegance doesn't but i do like your idea fresh as a daisy the gingham i don't have don't have the inked botanicals don't don't really want to use the lay shops because that is my class for this month could look at masterfully made I'll grab out the fresh as a daisy because I do know there is some bubble bath in that and masterfully made but I want to have a look at delightfully eclectic first and if I find something I really want to use in there I'm not even going to have a look at the other ones because that would just be silly oh I made that list um, candy this list is just copied and pasted out of the catalog so it's double sided two sides so I just copied and pasted into a word document so yes oh thank you Bev okay so not these ones quite yet let's then not countryside in but can actually go back back <sighs> delightfully eclectic now i know how much i love this i love this one i love 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 like super love it but Let's try and look at it. And I love this one as well. But I'm just trying to look past a few things. I love the stripe as well. I'm just loving bubble bath. It's actually really hard not to go by bubble bath. Mm, don't think the stripe will work. I was thinking maybe a little bit more floral maybe see hmm. i don't have the punch that goes with that one yeah but i do love this one so that's the one i was thinking of this one may be a winner because it's floral and then i can add some white and some pink to soften it but it still does have the blue so are we feeling this one 
Oh. Oh, you're 80% better candy. That is awesome. That is awesome. But the final 20% of healing is sometimes the absolute pits and the slowest. So, okay. Oops. That one. What's this one? Just want to check. Oh, they're our big polka dots. Okay. I think we're not going to go through any of the other paper and I'm just going to use this one although this piece okay there are two pieces so delightfully eclectic or masterfully made give me your thoughts it is Bev but I'm just feeling a bit of color today So these are the two that I'm tossing up with. Sorry, I'm just trying to put all that paper back in. Do I create a poll? Ah, awesome. Bonnie says eclectic. Donna says delightfully or delightful. So... Uh, they're both the same. Masterfully made, masterfully made. So we've got three versus two. Versus three. I'll just let the comments go. I'm more than happy for that. Masterfully, that's four, three. I'm just moving the things underneath to the side. I think Masterfully Made is winning. One, two, three, four, five, two, five versus three. Okay, Masterfully Made. Let's win, win a winner here. So this is going to be one of our layers. Now, I may actually have, what's the back of this? I possibly already have a piece. Yes, I already have this piece that we can... Oh, no, it hasn't. No, I'm not going to use this piece because I actually want all this colour and not all of the blue. So this piece came from the top and I used it on my mum's card. But today... I do not want to use that. I want to use definitely this bottom section. Yes, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Jody. I don't know if that saying is a thing elsewhere in the world or not. So, looking at these colours, let's bring back this. So, we have, that's on this side, Master Flame Made. We have Berry Burst, Fresh Freezer. Oh, Berry Burst, Fresh Freezer. And what's the pink? It's the shade of Berry Burst. Huh. There you go. But I'm definitely going to grab out my um, bubble bath because I think it will go perfectly. So that's where I kind of want to start. I don't want to start at the, at the stamping or the cutting of paper. I, I'm actually going to start with my card base. I know you're all there going, oh my god, Ellen, what planet are you on? But that is where we're starting today. Um, uh, <laughs> yes, absolutely, Bonnie. You inspired me with the bubble bath. And I dropped a whole set of these the other day. So I am going to make sure to put these sheets back in here because I had to pick up pick them all up off the floor and to say I was impressed was the understatement of the century. I think Miss Lisa might have been here with me while 
I had that moment. So I'm going to make my card front bubble bath. So we're going to create a nice little avalanche of papers beside me and it's already started. So we'll see if we can get the craft avalanche or keep it as under control as what we can. So the die can just go up there. I do not have a card front which is actually what I require. Okay. Oops. Okay. Do, do, do. Now, I want this to be uh, portrait or landscape. Okay, you tell me portrait or landscape. I am happy to go with the flow with this one. But, oh, one thing that is on the clearance rack is our scoring blades. Because I remember not that long ago, someone told me they lost their scoring blade. Which was not a fun thing to have happen. Okay, so this can go back in for a future project. So no one's telling me. I will, um, no, I left it there until I finished my project, Cheryl going back to those dies I um yeah I finished a project that was in front of me because I didn't need to use the dies and when I was finished the project ah okay Cindy that's awesome after I was finished a project and when I actually decided I need to needed to move out of my room I just dropped the die on the floor um after I decided I needed to move, I then picked them all up. So I have a handy dandy um, grabber. So this is just a grabber and it does actually have a magnet on the end. And it is the best tool in the craft room. Um, I think that grabber goes just behind my new craft pick tips. So it just goes behind this one as one of my favourite tools in my craft room. So, yes, everyone needs a grabber. Indeed, and it was a fellow crafter who actually said, do you have one like this one and it has a magnet on the end? Well, my mind was blown by that comment and I went oh my god so to create our shaped card I am going to use this die and I'm just going to have I'll show you on the back side I am going to line it up so the actual cut line goes over the fold of the card so we get the shape but we do keep um, we do keep our spine of our card. I had to think of the word. So let's get out our stamp and cut and box machine. And very unusual that I make a card from the base up, but I feel it's very important today um, just so I get this all looking how I want it. Oh no, Bonnie. I happened to buy mine at Aldi many, many years ago and I kind of didn't use it and I had the kids toy one in here. I no longer have the kids toy one in here. The toy one worked really, really well, but uh, it didn't have the magnet. Okay, that's straight. It did just move a titch okay please 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 I did yes I did this correctly 
So now I have an opening card in the shape that we would like. Now, this is just going to go on the floor because I know for a fact I'm going to be doing a little bit more. Are you sure it has no magnets on the end though, Bonnie? Because I was sure mine didn't have magnets on the end. And it actually does. Okay, so I'm going to grab out my dies again because the next layer I want to create is out of this paper. Oh no! I'm so sorry that I've got the one with the magnet then. Maybe just in your travels around the place you can try and find one with the magnet. Now this does bend. These are fairly thin dies. Um, so I do generally bend them back to straight so then they go nicely back onto this. Now, I'm undecided whether I want this size. So that will give us a little bit of a border or, and I haven't decided what sentiment or anything else we are using yet or do I want a bigger do I want a bigger one and go this one I think I like this size just appeals to me a bit more and then we'll add the sentiment and the die cuts and all of that because I still want to use those they do not want to do what they're told. So this one can go back. Go back in here. The bigger border, definitely. Thanks, Bonnie. I agreed with that one. Oh, absolutely. Peter has, and I'm sure Peter has enough special adhesive in the shed that um, he can do that for you, Miss Lise. Okay, now, did I want to catch some of that blue so I could catch a corner of that blue or I think I like the tighter flowers more because we are going to put the sentiment in the middle so if we have the tighter flowers it is just going to work a little better okay so this is approximately six and a half centimeters so that's the strip i am going to cut trying to create as little wastage as possible okay so six and a half Slide them on up. Okay. And the length doesn't matter because I'm going to die cut it. I just wanted to get that correct width. Okay. I'm glad I've given you all ideas with my grabber. I'm sure there is a proper name for the grabber, but I don't know what that proper name is. Okay, so I said mm, there are more flowers on this corner. So I'm going to change my mind because that's my prerogative and go this way. Now I am just going to slightly angle it just a titch because then it goes through the machine a little bit easier. There we go. Much easier than the big one. A bigger upper. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> upper. -er. Like you need to add the extra bit. Okay, so that is this piece done. And if we still wanted a bigger border, we could add a vellum in between. 
which I'm kind of feeling might actually look good. Just let me pop this stuff in the bin. Pop that over there because we are finished. I may even bring up the mini for the next little bits. Now I have to kind of find a sentiment that we might like to use. And I think we have a couple to work with. And I'm thinking of going with the let's go shopping and maybe looking at this happy birthday because it's small but it's beautiful um, and it has a really nice font. So where is that is this one here? I'm yet to ink this one up but in oh, is it a little small for that one? Hmm, maybe I need to look for something a little bit bigger. Uh, wishing you the brightest birthday from Cheerful Daisies. Uh, though I've used it a lot, but I don't know. That does fit in there. It's tight, but it will fit in there. Let's pop that on there. Hmm. Conundrums, conundrums. Plus, actually, because... Uh, I'm going to go the next one out with wishing you the brightest birthday because of all things that I wanted to use, I actually wanted to use the countryside corners and that will be this dot right here. So very happy with that. Looking at this, do we go where stamping fresh freesia on white or even the even the um, berry burst i'm thinking berry burst on white and then we'll work out what we want to stamp our sentiment with but let's do this first thinking vellum in between hello brenton how are you oh no problems no problems lise i will um I will catch you later. Okay, let's get a piece of basic white, not thick basic white. Okay, so I do have a card front size piece here that will be perfect because I don't really have any um, I don't have any scraps that are of a decent size. Now, I just have a thought of what I might like to do. I might like to just, because I don't really enjoy using our big blocks, um, so I think I'm going to use just our silicon mat because it'll pick up um, fibers off the paper so just place this and we'll use the stamp upside down okay well that was a good drop directly onto the pad okay so that didn't take much to fully ink that um now this does not need to be straight or anything because we are um we're cutting this out that's stamped pretty good i'm happy with that the outside one is probably not usable because I wiggled a little bit, but this one in here is going to be perfect. But I do have the inside one. So, 
I am going to clean this and stamp it again because I don't want that center section. Um, oh, and this is as dry as a board. If you were my spray bottle, where would you be living? Oh, don't tell me it dropped in my thing. Oh, no. I think it dropped in my bin. And it went out in the bin. Oh, no. Okay, I'm just going to grab the baby wipe. Sorry, I just had that realisation. I'm going to have to procure a new spray bottle from within the house. Oh, I did, Corinne. Corinne, that would be great if you could pop that in my VIP group, actually, because that was quite a gorgeous card. I know you um, tagged me in it, so if anyone um, does it... Hey, Margaret. Okay, so we're just going to clean this up. Although what I should have done is use my little thing. But this is going to be really easy just to omit this centre section. So Berry Burst is one of those fairly evil colours that once you get it on yourself, it's kind of there until you wash your hair or whatnot. Now I've just got a cloth here just a microfiber cloth so it won't leave behind any um it won't leave behind any fibers that's okay i can deal with the chamois later that is the least of my worries at the moment i'm just going to grab another card front I have another one and we are going to ink up omitting this centre section. I will definitely die cut this out. Now, while I am inking this up, I'm going to tell you why this is one stamp. This is one stamp because as you can see, um, these every layer is fairly delicate. So if Stampin' Up! actually made these separate stamps it would be difficult to then get them straight to match with i'm just trying to ink up this one side i think i got it it would be really difficult to lay them out straight to then match with our matching dies so that is why oh I've missed that corner there sorry I'll just come back in here this is good I've got this on here there we go that's perfect um so yeah they would bow out of shape which is kind of not what we want So hopefully that all worked perfectly, kind of. Hmm. It didn't work as well as what I thought it would. I just grabbed those inside bits. It's okay. It's only cardstock. Now, I can see already I have grabbed a corner, but I do have a plan of how. I could also use markers, but I don't actually have a berry burst marker to, um, to do this with. So, not totally helpful. So, as far as I know... I've only got anything on that one corner. So, I'm 
but unfortunately as I said it is this colour so I'm hoping my cleanup job there is enough but we shall soon find out take a deep breath because I don't want to move so I went straight down That is so much better. I've got the tinsiest bit here. I missed inking up here, but we are only after that center section. So I'm going to call that done. I am just going to wipe this off with the cloth because then when I touch it, I won't be getting ink all over my hands. <laughs> So that is nice and clean. I did actually put this in the wash with my towels over the weekend and I had zero ink that did not come out of it. So I was actually really, really happy that it came out so beautifully. Okay, so that can go over there. I do want, I'm just going to pop that stamp there because I don't want to lose it and I want to use not the second smallest so I'm like skipping every second one yep perfect and then we won't use the very very middle we could that flag is pretty cute in the middle. I'm glad they used the metal in the middle for something. Okay, machine back. Get this all lined up. Oh, awesome, Donna. Oh, you should pass uh, post your own cards, Donna. You will inspire people with your cards, even if you feel they are very simple. I promise you, you will inspire people. Now, looking at my overhead view, that is simply perfect. I go straight down and I hold it so it doesn't move and crank it through. Okay. And then I don't think we're going to use the Berry Burst for the sentiment. I think I do want to use uh, Fresh Fraser. Just to give that softness, that punch of Berry Burst is enough. Now that isn't totally straight, it's not totally perfect, but it is close enough. And that is what I am happy with. And I'll definitely be using these other borders. So I could, um, if I had that centerpiece and I didn't, I wanted it as a frame, I could then use the next one down to create a, a separate whole frame piece rather than having it as a frame like this. Okay, now I am going to use Fresh Freesia or, or do I go one of the blues? What blues are we using in here? Uh, Melamamba, um, Knight of Navy, Pretty Peacock. Do I go Knight of Navy? Because that would look really nice. And then I can save the other colours for... Fresh Freesia, Knight of Navy, my friends. 
you take a photo of your project and you can share it in my VIP group. Like you share a comment, you just press the camera and Night of Navy, okay Donna? I might do some of the flowery layers with Pretty Peacock. I'm thinking Night of Navy as well. Night of Navy. Blueberry bushel would also work, I think. But we are going to do this. Just pop that out of the way. Grab a scrap of paper because I don't want to ruin all our hard work by having a dodgy stamping because it may happen okay but these stamps are pretty pretty good actually oh see that B isn't really wanting well, that's better. I just need to make sure it's well inked. Okay. Pray to whatever crafting God you pray to. Ah, that was my finger knuckle. That looks great. I'm glad I chose that. And I'm just going to take off the excess. Just makes my cleaning up job a little later easier. Okay, so I can get these layers together enough and I may even quickly go in and do that vellum layer. So we've got that. I'm thinking if I use timeless arrangement in the way I was thinking, because I'll show you what I was thinking. So let me move these ink pads. Because looking great so far, very, very happy with it. So how these work is these, oh, David's back, Louise has gone to the door. So these go under like so. So they like layer up. But I don't know if that will be covering up too much of our gorgeous designer series paper and if I just do a couple of these in vellum because we'll have our outer layer of vellum but if I do these in vellum you can then be able to see the pattern through the card. So... If the family gets too loud, I will have to um, turn, turn off, close my door. Owen, can you please close my door and then you guys can be loud. Idiots. I said loud. Yes, Lavender Woodbridge. Oh. I'm in here for... Oh, I haven't given you a... Um, I haven't given you a, a tattoo update. Do you, do you want to share show? Sure. Sure? Okay. It's very cute. But everyone's been asking me, is it from Guardians of the Galaxy? No. No. Right. Okay. But you're going to see it upside down. That's the problem. A bit further. Can you go sideways <laughs> this way? Hang on. Swap places. Okay. Swap places. So sideways. So you want it in the middle here. Okay. <laughs> that oh, was no. about it. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's it. And there you go. <laughs> awesome. So in a karate gi because we're a karate family. Okay, now I'm moisturizing it. Now you're moisturizing it. It's a rodent. It's <laughs> It's not a rodent. It's a, well, no, it I a suppose, rodent. yeah, raccoons are rodents. 
Yep. Yeah, but they're smart ones. Oh, they're smart ones. Yeah, smart right. Ones. Well, we don't have them in Australia, so yeah. Okay, so vellum for this layer. Do these layers in vellum and we will see what layers we want to use and what will work. Oh, that's oh. over my shoulder reading comments. See, I said Kung Fu Panda 2, Jody. I really did. Yes, it is cute. It was going to be a raccoon fencing. And then I went, um, what about karate? And Lavender went, oh, Mum, that's such a good idea. I went, yeah, I know. Mom, Could you close the door, please? Thank you. Have fun. Always. How could we not have fun together, guys? Seriously. Okay, I have quite a nice... I have that piece and I have this piece. Let's go for it. See where we get to. Okay. Okay. Maybe just pop the card out of the way. And where I've got that smudge uh, from the stamping, I am going to cover it with an embellishment. So, Jody, never fear. Embellishments are happening. Look at that. And I definitely wanted this one. And I think I wanted the greenery. Oh! <gasps> Did you hear that? A die went on the floor. It's okay. And I think I like this one. So I think I can fit three. And three, as we know, is always such a good number. So we can do all of these at the same time. But I'm living dangerously because I haven't put my dies in their plastic. And as you heard, the sleeve of my jumper did just knock one off. Okay, hold, hold. Pop. There we go. Show. Thank you. I love it too. So that was that's first tattoo. And yes, there are plans for more, but Lavender loves this tattoo artist and she is about to go on maternity leave. So, yeah. And I want another tattoo as well. So I like her work and was going to go to her as well. Okay, I've picked up the dies that Kamikaze did onto the floor. Okay, I need to turn off my heater in here now. The door shut. Okay, dies. Dies actually can go in my dish for the moment. I have a magnetic dish for a reason, don't I? Come on. They don't want to come off. Right. Okay. Off, 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 off. That's fine. That can go there. So I'm pretty confident that I can stick down the designer series paper to the vellum and put the vellum to the card base just so we have less pieces. Now I'm going to leave these pieces in the vellum just for the moment. And... I'm going to pop this to the side and we're just going to start gluing because I'm confident on these bits. I've got, hang on, who just said that? I've got a great movie to have a tap from that, correct? Yes. Someone just said, I have tattoos too. Oh, I've got lots of tattoos. They're called various gas veins and stretch marks. I, I have those too, but I happen to have an actual tattoo as well. It's uh, one of the motifs from 
um, Romeo and Juliet, so the Baz Luhrmann um, adaptation of the play. Um, the, the Priest, who I think is actually Aussie. I mean, Baz Luhrmann's Aussie, but I think the priest is an Aussie actor. He's Aussie or English? I can never remember. But he has a sacred heart tattoo on his chest. No, I did not get it on my chest. It is on my ankle. So that's, that's what I have. And this feels upside down because I want the blue sky in the corner you now that feels feel, yeah, that feels as even as it as it's going to get okay so I can then do a good burnish on the back and then I'm going to stick the rest down so right now, make sure the card is opening the correct way because, hey, that is important. I think that vellum layer just added something perfect to that. So that is our base. Now we can play with our vellum pieces. So we have this. So I feel we see enough of all of our uh, designer series paper just carefully without ripping disentangle these and i think it's just going to be a beautiful soft element obviously if you're going for a brighter card uh, you could go crazy and have them in all different colors i just want to see because these bars are meant to marry up so you do get layers aha uh -huh. but i would put this one behind oh, this one behind and then the more delicate one in front they don't want to do what they're told, obviously. So David's been shopping today and bought an air fryer that he can use. So I dare say he's going to be a happy chappy. But he's just not a, got to not burn things with it because obviously it takes a lot quicker to um, cook things. I don't think... This one cut through. Uh, maybe. I don't think it did. No, it did not cut through. Damn. Let me see. Or I could put one at the top and one at the bottom of this. But I was looking forward to using the greenery. Oh, that will be so cool, Bev. Vellum with no circles. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, Donna, vellum with no circles. Although I did post a card um, to my blog just before I went live and it is actually has vellum circles on it. So I do use them, just not all the time. I'm thinking this may actually come out maybe oh it is kind of coming out because i could snip this off and then just use the other two because i'm not going to die cut it again it's because i was die cutting so much at once I'm just going to snip that off. That leaf never existed. And then I could just pop that there on the bottom. Although I don't think I like the two of these together. 
and just just having a little play I do need my tool let me see if I can get these out yes they're coming out there we go great so See, these work together really, really well. And then I can pop this one by itself on the bottom. And then that's our three pieces. Bingo! I just need to do my gluing now. Yes. Yes, exactly. Top and bottom. It just then just balances it out with the little bit on the side so i am actually going to put some of this on the back or well, maybe it needs to be closer to the edge okay um need I do have another silicon mat somewhere, but I'm going to pop this on here and then bring this over. Just like so. I do have some little centre bits to pop out here but at least doing it on the silica mat we aren't sticking to anything so that's the bottom done and I'm really really happy with that and I want to put this one on the top oh, maybe I want to put these two together and then add them as one which I can do on the silicon mat. Just get the glue to the top. Just breaking that little, just wants to pull it up. Okay, so I have a thin piece here and I'm going to do have a slightly, dare I say, very slightly gluey hand. Well, my wobbles did not do me any favours there. And I think I definitely want to add some fresh freesia in the embellishments. I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure we have some fresh freesia embellishments. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect, but of course, if we can, we would like it to be. Okay, so we've got that. Thinking I do need to snip this one here a little bit more. Take out our centerpiece just out of this flower and then we're good to go. So, and I've gone for two opposite corners. So this one is more aligned to the right corner and the top one will be more aligned to the left. And also just remembering that we do normally read left to right. So I'm just going to snip off this corner just so I can nestle it in. A little bit more so hopefully that'll make sense in just a second so yep perfect so 
there we go I am actually really missing that greenery piece but I'm fine and any of these greenery pieces that are kicking up I just bend back now to dimensional or not to dimensional that is the question I think we're just going flat on because that is quite a lot of layers already and if we go flat I think that's plenty of um, plenty of texture already I'm actually questioning if I put some linen thread behind it. I'm just I'm going to try something and I'm not going to cut it and then see if I take it off or not. It will just fill this part right here. course it doesn't want to stick where I want it to so I just want a couple of loops I can just this one's falling but I can just see how that looks I think I want this loop to be a little bit bigger like the one at the bottom of course everything's sticky and doesn't want to do a thing that I want it to do okay so you see how we've got all of these coils take your thumbnail and what I want is to pull along here and that just straightens it out it's still loopy but it's not coily okay right we will get here how are we going for time oh yeah of course it's a long video ah uh, no linda is not watching linda is actually running a class today because um, I did try to return some things that I had actually borrowed from her. The tides, the tide changed and I actually borrowed some things from Linda and um, I tried to return them while I was out and about earlier and um, she texted me and said she was running her, I think it was her scrapbook class today. So this weekend I do hope to do all the designing for my July class and I am doing the Let's Go Shopping or the Lay Shops um, class. That's my plan this weekend, maybe even tomorrow afternoon because I do have an appointment in the morning. So just trying to stick these down where there is already glue just to get the look and see if I'm happy yes I am so I'm going to snip this and I'm going to secure it with dimensionals and while it is still hasn't moved from where I would like it and it's a good thing I've got these edges left and I can just pop them down just grab my scissors my hand extensions and I literally just want to pop on there And then pop on on the other side and that will just keep all the, those loops from going everywhere and coming apart, which is what we don't want to happen. So just two loops is more than enough. And then the very last dimensional on the end.
just to balance everything out. Okay, oh, perfect. I'm so glad I added that twine. Oh, threw this out of the way. Of course, I'm making such a mess because that's what we do when we craft, always creating a mess. Go up there. No, it does not want to move. Okay. There will probably be a bit of unevenness um, here, but I think we can live with it if this will get off my finger. Right. Okay. Okay, I'm uh, unhappy enough with that. It's not totally even, but hey, it's on there. It's stuck. It's not moving. So we have our pastel sequins, which you can see are a very good fit. No. We have our Fresh Freesia Tinsel. I have a new pack of basic iridescent rhinestones. So I do also have the flat opals because they do kind of have that colour in them all the pinks huh. okay what are the votes pretty cut i know tell me which bling i'll bring the bling up even and show it to you a little closer so this is we could use the misty moonlight or the fresh freesia out of this lagoon is just not going to work so we've got the pastel pink and I don't even know what color does it say oh it says petal pink but I think that reads really close to the bubble bath and then you've got the um, adhesive back pearls that have that purple blue sheen so, so many gems. Yes, there are so many gems. You know I love my embellishments. So the sequins. I could do a mixture of both. No one's saying I need to do one. Now with the... Pastel sequins, you get a sheet of large and a sheet of small, which is awesome to have. So, I will take from this side and what ink splodge were we talking about? Don't know. Can't see an ink splodge at all. So we've got that there. I could just look and see what these fresh freesia ones look like. They look nice, but I don't know that they particularly go together. And I think I've committed to the sequins. So I will just keep with the sequin sequins rather than using the tinsel. Ah, oh, Bonnie, yes, the oval pearls definitely would have worked. But 
I kind of commit it. Okay, it's kind of going in here. So I've used two and I definitely need three or five or two groups. Kind of like that there might just be one tucked under there. So it still has a relationship in the triangle and possibly just one down here. And I think we're done. Actually, no, we're not. I'm going to make our vellum shimmery with a little bit of Winker Stella. Yep, that is going on. So I'm just going to just, it will not show up in photos. I can guarantee that. But just adding... It's like having, we're making our own shimmer vellum here and just adding a little bit of shimmer. Just, I don't know, it makes it look extra pretty because I can hear Jamie in my brain going, where's your wink? So Jamie is to wink as Jodie is to bling. And it won't take long to dry. And it just gives that extra little zhuzh to our project. So we do have fancy shape. So we use that largest die to create the card. And we've got all the layers and the texture. So I'm hoping you can see that nice and close up thank you girls thanks for your help and brenton of course so yeah use the masterfully made paper we use the timeless arrangements little bits we've got the pastel the pastel sequins so we use countryside corners to arrange uh, for the border and I spoke about why it is one big stamp and not lots of little stamps. I think next time I use countryside corners I'm going to use the Stamparatus. I think I'll get a much better effect using the Stamparatus. Today I just didn't want to get out too many machines and we already had um, the stamp and cut and emboss machine that I use 50 bazillion times we took the sentiment from the cheerful daisies because I thought that looked lovely masterfully made paper vellum so these are and I will start putting some things away while we speak so we used these little pieces that are designed to tuck behind elements so we used those. Have I still got that? I must have put that little piece back. Let me do a count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Great. There are 16 there. We're all happy when that number matches the number. So we use timeless arrangements and use these ones. And we cut out our card base and all of our layers using the matching countryside corners. Now, I didn't need to, I could have used any shape to create the card, but I do just like the countryside corners now. I do just want to bend this die. Now, you don't hurt the dies by giving them a little gentle bend back into flat. And that gentle bend has just allowed it to sit better on my sheets. So that is everything we used today. It is a cute little card. It will fit in a standard envelope with plenty of room. But I just think it's so soft and pretty. And those colours, the um, pretty peacock 
and the Knight of Navy really just allows everything on top of it to pop so beautifully. So thank you, thank you. I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Keep an eye out for my um, Let's Go Shopping class. Um, it will go up as soon as I have made the samples and you can um, pre-order the video tutorials and the project sheet and that will go out at the end of the month so you can pre-order that and it will be emailed to you i know bonnie has loved the classes cheryl has got the classes before and i know you guys have um, both said to me how much you enjoyed them so don't forget i do have my previous classes um on my blog under the tutorial tab they are all there thank you everyone for your thumbs up and comments as always i appreciate it if you enjoyed today and you or tonight whatever time of the day you're listening if you've enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed to my channel i would love it if you can so then you can join us uh, for future videos and i hope you go look back at my past videos i think i have about 600 videos uh, for you guys to watch so those days and days and days of um watching and viewing pleasure so thank you so much have an amazing weekend and i'm always here to help if you need it thanks bye i've got to move the camera